This is the first video to get you ready for the quiz that's over 5, 3 to 5, 5. 5, 3 to 5, 5 covers inverses, exponential functions and their derivatives and integrals, and logarithmic functions that are not natural logs. So this is starting with inverses, which is what we did in 5, 3. And I'm just going to take you through some of the basic pre-calculus skills so you'll have to know how to do to be successful, and then we'll finish with the calculus one. So if you look up here, we've got uh, first question says just says find the inverse. Very first question on the quiz is going to ask you to do the same thing. I really do not need to see a lot of work. You need to show me that you know that you switch the variables so that x equals net one third y minus eight and then at this point if you can do it all in your head that's fine if you want to go through the steps of solving for y you add eight to both sides so you have x plus eight equals one third y common mistake here when you get y by itself and you multiply by three keep in mind you have to multiply this entire side by three so you could either leave it as three times x plus eight or you could write it as three x plus twenty four Either way, that is what your inverse is equal to. So that last little piece, just make sure you watch that you distribute that 3 through or keep it in parentheses. The next skill that you're going to have to do on the quiz is to prove that uh, functions are inverses. When you're asked to prove, this is an analytic proof, this is not visual. The way you do this is you do a double composition. You have to show that when you put g inside of f, you get just x. And when you put f inside of g, you just get x. If the directions say prove, it will work. You just have to show how it works. So I'm going to start with putting g inside of f. So I'm going to have 3 times the fourth root of x plus 5 over 3 all to the fourth power minus 5. The fourth root and the fourth power cancel. The 3 divided by 3 cancels. The 5 minus 5 cancels and it leaves you with x. Going the other direction, we're going to have the fourth root of 3x to the fourth minus 5 plus 5 all over 3. Same thing, things are going to cancel in a slightly different order this time. The negative 5 and the positive 5 will cancel. The 3 divided by 3 will cancel. And then finally, the fourth root of x to the fourth leaves you with just x. That is how you prove that they are, they are inverses. Uh, the next step that you could take, I'm not asking you to do here, is to look at a visual approach. A visual approach means that you're going to graph both f and g, and then notice the relationship that happens every time the functions are inverses. You will see a reflection over the line y equals x, over that identity line. So those are the things that you'll be asked to do from a pre-calculus standpoint on your quiz. From a calculus standpoint, the most common question is how you derive an inverse. So I put, picked one, I came up with this one, made sure that everything worked OK, just to show you how you go through this process, how the calculator helps you, and to make sure you don't fall into any of the traps that tend to show up on the AP test. So the first step in these is to derive the original function. So the derivative of f, and it should be an easy derivative, is 3x squared minus 2x minus 1. The next step is to write it as its reciprocal, because inverses will always have reciprocal slopes. Finally, you do not want to plug 2 into what you have written here. You want to know what, what makes the original function equal to 2. So you're treating that 2 as if it's a y value. So you're going to go to your graph. So let me pull up my calculator so you can kind of see, go through step by step with me. And we can talk about what you're looking for on your calculator to help you find the x value. The, notice this one could not be done by hand. So once I get my calculator up, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here so we can look at it all at one time and look at my graph and look at my calculator side by side I am going to go into my calculator go into my y equals and type in my original function so my original function is x to the third minus x squared minus x plus 12 and I want to know when that will equal 2. The other option is you could just subtract 2 and get it in more of a standard form and find where it crosses the x-axis. That would work just as well. When you graph it, you should find a definitive spot where they intersect. If you can't quite tell exactly where it is, you can use the Calculate menu to find the intersection. So you do second and trace. We're going to choose intersection, number 5. I can just go enter, enter, enter on this because I only have two curves, and it will show me exactly where they intersect. That means the x value that I'm using is actually negative 2. So my derivative at 2 then would be 1 over 3 times negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 minus 1. So I can do this in my head. I can do it with a calculator. This is going to give me 3 times 4 plus 4 minus 1, so that's 12 plus 4 minus 1 gives me 15. So my derivative at 
two of the inverse is one fifteenth. Common mistakes, things that you want to make sure you don't end up doing, make sure you remember to actually take the derivative. Some students just immediately write it as a reciprocal and forget to derive. Make sure you do write it under one, write the reciprocal. And then the most common mistake, make sure you take that number two and put that equal to your original function. The two is not what you're plugging in. You are plugging in the x value that makes the original function equal to two. And that's where your calculator can help you if it's something that you're not able to do by hand. So that gives you a review of everything that you'll need to know how to do on the quiz when it comes to to inverses.